What's up guys, Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Christmas series, it just wrapped up. Had a few uh, really neat beers, had a couple of misses as well unfortunately, but uh, that'll happen and you know, might end up having a, a couple more Christmas beers just as, uh, as time goes by as we're closing out the month of December. Might have a few more and they might end up on here, but a uh, fun little Christmas series that we did, uh, four videos total. I can find them on this YouTube page. It's the uh, four videos preceding this one. Uh, but for now, we're moving back on to uh, quote-unquote normal beers, if you will. And today we are doing from Wickwood Brewery in Whitney, Whitney, Oxfordshire, England. This is Hobgoblin English Ruby Beer. Uh, comes in a 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, comes out to 1.9 fluid ounces. And uh, the, the bottle has a, a bit of a unique shape. Kind of looks like the, the bottles my potions come in when I play Skyrim. Or some other RPG. A uh, bit of a unique shape. Little witch designs on the bottle. But um, moving on to what the brewery has to say. Traditionally craft brewed with chocolate and crystal malts and a blend of Styrian Goldings and Fuggles hops to produce a full-bodied ruby beer that delivers a delicious chocolate toffee malt flavor. Balanced with a rounded moderate bitterness and an overall fruity mischievous character. And it is a 5.2% ABV. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh. Nice, deep, ruby red color, as I would expect from a ruby beer by their own description. Uh, nice, pretty color, completely see-through. I see maybe just uh, just a little bit more than a head, uh, a finger's worth of head. Uh, generally pretty fluffy uh, bubbles. And a little bit of carbonation shooting up the glass. And kind of goes into more of a, a deep orange color, pushing on burnt orange as a, as I hold it up to the light. Hmm. Plenty of malt, but not sweet at all. Uh, when they're talking about kind of the chocolate toffee malt flavor, I am getting I am getting the chocolate. It's uh, but again, it's not not uh, not sweet at all. Um, just a pretty, I think overall, pretty basic, uh, kind of a red ale style. Uh, kind of a, a slight bitterness in, at the very end. Maybe a little bit of fruit as well. Something it, something else. It almost feels like a boozy note, but it's certainly not high enough ABV by that. So there's some something that I'm not quite picking up correctly <clears throat> that's kind of interpreting itself as a a boozy note, in the, especially in the back half. Maybe it's just kind of the, the bitterness from the hops. Uh, coming, starting to push through a little bit more as my uh, palate's acclimating to it. Uh, but I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more I uh, just got some flavors out of this beer. I think, for lack of a better term, the the chocolate's there a little bit. Not really getting much toffee, and then there's just kind of this bit, this bitterness as well. Yeah, just uh, unfortunately, it's had disappointing, but that's how it goes in the beer world. Um, Yeah, I mean, in terms of mouthfeel, 
little bit on the creamy side. It's a little, all the, the fine bubbles from the carbonation. But, uh, it tastes just okay. It's not, it doesn't, I don't think it's bad by any means, but it's just not, uh, not a really flavorful beer. And e even amongst red ales, it's, I find it a little bit lacking. But that's the way it goes sometimes, so, uh, that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. I can find all my reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. You can also check me out on Twitter and Facebook. You'll find those links in the description below. And also find me on the mobile apps Untapped and Instagram, uh, both under the username Poorly Reviewed Beer. Um, also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.